Hi everyone, my name is Abby Lake and I'm a trainee sports journalist for Pulse Social. Let's see what news we have this week. First up, we'll have a podcast coming out where I spoke to Ryan Raghu, the founder of Enabled Not Disabled, an international movement and brand that aims to challenge the way people view impairments. In the podcast, we talked about his experience with cerebral palsy and his personal experience as a person competing in the World Juniors in Cerebral Palsy World Games. Make sure to stay tuned for this podcast by subscribing below. There will also be a podcast where I spoke to Joe Rowe on the importance of mental health and its relationship with sports. Joe is a certified performance coach and the co-creator of a CPD programme for coaches, helping to build their skills and confidence in coaching people with mental health issues. We spoke about how you can use physical activity in sports to improve your mental health and also about other techniques that you can use. Make sure to stay tuned for when this comes out. In other news, according to a BBC Sports article, Dina Asher-Smith returned as Great Britain set a new national record to win their heat and reached the women's 4x100 metre relay final on Friday. Asher Smith tore her hamstring in July and pulled out of the Olympic 200 metres after failing to make the 100 metre final. The 200 metre world champion ran the third leg as a British courtlet finished ahead of the USA and Jamaica in 41.55 seconds. Next up, according to a Sky Sports article, the British athletics in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics have confirmed that Katarina Johnson-Thompson has suffered from a calf injury and has had to withdraw from the heptathlon. Katarina had also suffered an Achilles problem last year but believed it had healed in time for the start of the Games. And finally, according to The Guardian, Mike Ashley is set to step down as Chief of Sports Direct owner at Fraser's Group. And the retail group are in talks about handing the top role to the 31-year-old fiancé of the businessman's daughter. The article wrote how the company, which also owns the House of Fraser department stores and the designer fashion chain Flannels, said it was in discussions about transitioning the chief executive role to 31-year-old Michael Murray, who is currently Fraser's head of elevation. The full article is available on The Guardian. And that's all we have time for today. Thank you for watching and I will be back again next week.